Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda May Gray, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to create an intro, outro video for YouTube, Facebook, any video that you might be making that you wanna just put a little bit more polish on it. It is actually pretty easy to do, but it's totally one of those things you gotta see it, not just me verbalize it. So we're gonna show you a screen share and uh, walk you through the whole process from start to finish with a specific brand in mind and a specific project linked to Toastmasters so that you can really see the whole branding aspect of it as well. Okay, so here we are on canva.com. It, I will include a link in the description below. Uh, but you can see this is an amazing website where you can design all sorts of things. Instagram posts, Facebook posts, flyers, poster. I mean, you name it. You can do an entire PowerPoint presentation in here, animated media. It's a really spectacular place to check things out and make your own little images. I have been using it well over a year now. No idea how I got turned on to it. Probably a YouTube video but it is totally free and it will save all of your designs for you. Uh, so, but right now we are going to create a new intro outro video. Now you'll see there are some templates here. Uh, we got the stories. Ooh. Okay, well I clicked on templates, that's fine. Uh, Instagram stories, Instagram posts, presentations, flyers, yada, 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 yada. You can see how they like will move around and do different things. So that's where I think I got the idea from, but they also do, you can actually type in YouTube, um, video ads, you know, gaming intros and outros. So we are going to do YouTube intros. This is going to download like a, um, a presentation guide. So that's going to be really cool. But you can see there's a lot of different templates. When you scroll over it, you can see if something happens when you are um, watching it. So a lot of them are about five seconds long, which is really what you want unless you did something specific and custom for yourself. But five seconds is a good place to start. The project that we are working on today is going to be called Motivation Monday, which is a pretty cool project we're doing here in my Toastmasters District 44. And uh, I know a lot of you are Toastmasters that watch my channel, so I think this will be very helpful for you as well. Now keep in mind you can change the colors, you can change the graphics, you can change all sorts of things with this so that you have it brand compliant and what have you. So I'm just looking for something that I like. Okay, so here is one that I think could be good. Um, it's nice and big on what the front. It's kind of, you know, nice, easy design, but still a little eye-catching. So let's check this one out. And I like that there's like a, an, a video in the background. So it's going to pull this up. Um, you can scroll down and you can see, oh good, there's an end card that will go with it. And some other designs that I do kind of like as well. But let's let's check this one out and see. Click Use Template. Okay, so let's see here. You can see there's some different templates on the side that you can check out, go through if you're not feeling this one. I kind of like this one. It's got the video in the background. It's got some fun elements here that are basic, but uh, still usable. And it looks like I can change these colors. So that is awesome. So I am gonna change these colors to the colors for the brand guide. So you, can, you can see these little boxes up here that correlate. So I've clicked on it and then I can click and choose a different color. Now I can either, you know, oh, that's awful. I can either choose the colors that are in here or I can type in a color. So considering this is a Toastmasters project, I do want to keep with the Toastmasters brand guide and use their colors. So I have their brand manual pulled up and their brand colors pulled up. If you are a Toastmaster and are interested in this, it is on the Toastmasters International website under resources um, and the brand portal. It is super important to keep with your brand. And I'm just going to copy paste this color and see how I like it on there, which I'm fond of the blue and the yellow. I think I want to use 
I think I want to use the brand yellow, which is like a soft yellow. So I'm going to go back over to that brand manual, copy the specific color, and then I'm going to paste it in here and click on it. So you can see you've got we've got that the 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 blue with the light yellow, which is kind of nice. Although this this video is a little bit off with it, so we might change that video, but we can totally change it. Again, I'm not feeling this color, so maybe we go to the, the light. And then obviously I don't want it to say tip riptides, I want it to say what we're doing. So you can just highlight that whole thing and you can change oops, the text. Right now it is super big. So of course I gotta <laughs> I gotta make that way, 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 way smaller. Anyway, that's not bad. Let's see if I can go a little bit bigger. I kind of like it bigger. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to change this bottom text. District 44. Oop, except apparently I'm not going to be able to spell today. So I kind of like it, but I still feel like this is a little bit small. So I'm going to increase this, kind of tool around with it. I think the color is, oh, oh, there's music with it. I had no idea, but I think the color of this video is just kind of off. Um, ah, there we go. Okay, so thankfully I can adjust that to something a little bit more pleasing to go with our look here. And I, I want to add an element to this because I want it to have the logo. So I'm gonna go over here to uploads and I actually already have in my uploads <laughs> a ton of photos, but I have the Toastmasters logo in here already. So I can just drag and drop it right in there and then adjust it to the size that I want. So what I might actually just do is take away Toastmasters and just do District 44 and then Put that where I want it. I kind of like that so far. So far so good. Now I do want to make sure I'm using the right font in addition to the colors so you can adjust the font as well. You can see up here um, I can actually click on something different. Montserrat's a good one. Uh, it is one of the optional ones to use. And we're going to do that as well for the top. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can hit play and you can see it's like going in the background. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but I want to add some interest to it. So I'm going to click on the entire frame itself. And then up here you can see it says pan, crop, flip, and how long you want it to go for. So for this, I don't actually want it to pan. I think I want it to tumble in. You can see all the different, yes, um, options for how to have it come in and out and do some different effects. Not a fan of that one. On the free one, you only get these top five options or none. You pay for an account, which I think is like maybe $120 a year, which is not that bad when you consider it, but I have the free version. I wanted to show you the free version. Very easy to use. So I think I like the tumble. Well, now I can hit play and watch it all in action. And let's play. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. That looks pretty neat. Okay, you can stop now. You can stop now. Click out of it. So that's going to have all those elements tumble in. But I can change this video so I can come down here to videos on the left hand side. There are so many different things that you can choose from. You know, maybe I want... Um, you know what I am going to do first though, before I mess with this too much? Is there's these buttons up here add notes, duplicate, and add page. I'm going to duplicate this slide. I like to duplicate things when I am playing with them, adjusting them, so I can see the difference between what I had the first time that I liked and then my improvement, which might not actually be an improvement. I don't have to backtrack a lot. So that's kind of a cool little tip that I do. 
I'll use that duplicate. And then, you know, maybe we try this coffee as the background where the guy's working. And that, that, it doesn't really work with what we have going on. So see what we got for these business videos. I don't know what they have for free. When you see this little crown, those ones aren't free. Well, maybe we try this. That's kind of cool, but I don't know if that's really motivational. Maybe I don't want business. Eh, I'm not feeling the business for this particular video. Um, backgrounds might be fun. Let's try one of these backgrounds and see what happens. Oh. Now, if something goes awry like that, I'm just going to hit delete and it's going to disappear. So I'm going to drag it in. And there it is. Oh, that's kind of cool. But I kind of like that one. Let's look at these different background ones. You can pick a bunch of different things. I mean, there's so many things to choose from. It's insane. Or maybe we can do this little. That's kind of cool too. This is kind of cool. Okay, so once you have decided on whatever it is, you want to come up here to the top where it says blue, orange, and white. It'll say whatever the template is, and then you can rename it from there. So I'm going to rename it um, MM for Motivation Monday, intro, um, take one, in case I don't like it once I put it in the actual video. When I'm done with that, I am going to make sure everything is going well. And then I'm going to come up here and click download video. Now for this one, I'm only going to download page one. If you have more than one page, you can choose just one page. You can choose the whole thing. But in this particular instance, I'm just going to do page two, which is the one with this cool yellow background. So I can test it out in the video format itself. And then you just click done. And you do want it to be a high quality video. You don't want it to be the GIF because that's how we're going to get that actual action in on it. So it will play in your video. So we'll hit download. That'll take a little bit of time, but then it'll be in your download photo, photo album area, your downloads. It'll be in your downloads and you can pull it up and put it into your videos just as if it was another video clip. So that's kind of the basic of it. Um, it's not super difficult. You can do an outro video the same way. You can add music to this either in Canva itself or you can do that in, I'm shaking. Or you can do that in iMovie or whatever video software program you're using. I think it's very easy to do. Anybody can do this. You can upload any graphics you want. You can choose any fonts that you want. You can customize the colors very specifically. Um, and yeah, I mean, that took me, it took me a little bit of time, but it's really, it's not that time consuming. Depends on how much you want to play around in there. And once you kind of get the hang of how the program works, it's not that bad at all. And then, you know, I will have that for any video I do for that process, for that program, for that project is what I'm trying to say. Uh, from here on out, and it's just plug and play once you have it downloaded. I definitely say, you know, retitle it so that you know what it is in your downloads and then you know, you can do a whole series of them in there. It actually will save all the things that you do on Canva itself. And you can do this on your computer. You can do this on your phone. You know, if you go to a different computer, um, I can pull up all the stuff that I've done on my computer on my phone so I can download that way, which is super cool. So I just want to show you a couple additional things in Canva. You can add uploads. So things that you upload, you could add videos in there, your own video. You can also... Um, search their photos. They've got a ton of photos in here. Just type in whatever it is you're looking for. Uh, you can go by, look, like there's fall, autumn, fall leaves, pumpkins. So they have everything classified for you. And it's all, I mean, it says over 60 million photos are included with Pro. But also good, you're going to find something in the free version that you're going to be able to use. You can also add different elements. 
So I've used some different things like photo frames. Um, there's different little graphics, animations, lines, um, stickers, charts, grids that you can add photos to, you know, little granulants. So I can add a granulant and like add that in somewhere. All right, say I wanted that there, doesn't matter. And maybe, I, obviously I don't want it covering what it says district. So I can put the picture backwards, back again. And now it's behind all that stuff, right? So I think that's kind of neat. You also can add additional text. So maybe I want to write um, like welcome to, okay? So we can put sparkle in there, put it up top. And then I can adjust it. Well, welcome. <laughs> Apparently I can't spell. Welcome to, right? And then I can adjust this and move it around just by, where's the center? Where's the center? Okay, and I can adjust this backlighting. So maybe it's blue, maybe it's pink. Maybe it's, you know, that red. Ooh, fun. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, and I can mess with that. Kind of adjust where it is. You know, that one's not really 100% working out, but there's a bunch of different ones you can check out and play with. Um, again, you can add music. I think we talked about this. And there's some free music in there that you can play with. Videos like we were in before, backgrounds which are just like different, instead of just a flat color, it gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of interest. So those are kind of cool. Um, and then it says more, so styles, charts. I mean, there's all sorts of things in here that you can play with. It's super neat. Obviously I haven't purchased anything yet. Okay, what's gonna be like, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay us now. <laughs> I'll be like, okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there's just a bunch of different options that you could input. And again, if you don't like something, you know, delete it. But definitely utilize that copy or duplicate page feature so that you can kind of compare the two and easily flip back and forth, right? And say, okay, uh, you know what? Actually, I like that one better than that one. Versus doing something, making a bunch of changes and then not knowing what you want. So yeah, that's, that's the basic of it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that helps answer some of the questions that people have been having. If you guys have further questions on it, I'd be happy to answer those things for you, or we can make another video on any of it utilizing Canva itself. That's the program I use. Again, I'll leave that link in the description below. If you guys did like this, please give me a thumbs up on this video and hit subscribe if you want more tips about being on camera, utilizing the camera, making videos, um, speaking on camera, all that fun stuff any DIYs I might be doing at the time that I think is prevalent or maybe somebody else might be interested in. And, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this and we will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.